Okay, in this tutorial we're just going to have a quick look at the Timber Framing plugin which is available for Revit. Uh, you can get that from the Autodesk Exchange there, so you normally find that up here on the top. Um, very simple plugin, it's obviously free to subscription users and whatnot. So what I've done is I've created this uh, simple scene here where we've got a couple of partition walls sat on a basic floor. And uh, I'll just put a few doors in there and you'll see why in a moment. Now, um, one of the things we're going to do now is just going to pop a hole into this so that we can um, see some of the, the framing work that can be done. So it's going to select this wall here and click on Edit Profile. I'm just showing you this in case you haven't seen it before. So what I'm going to do is just draw a rectangle within this space here, like so, and then just finish it off. Now, obviously, this hasn't been done accurately or anything like that. Well, that's good enough. Now, um, in order to make this thing work, we need to select our walls. And after you've installed the plugin, you'll find it under the extensions and modeling. So if you click on that, we can we have a choice between walls, rafters, and trusses. So I'm going to go straight into the walls and have a quick look. So click on there, and it brings up this uh, dialog here. Now you can move this around, so just hold down the middle mouse button. And to pan about, it's the right mouse button. And uh, you can see there what it's done by default. So let's just zoom in, have a quick look there, and see what we have. Um, and this is the frame, so you can see them there. So these are all the bits of timber that it's decided upon itself. So what we can do is uh, go through the various settings available in this tool. I don't propose to go through all of them, but uh, you can certainly play about with them and see what they do. So we can see current walls are all the walls together. So this is the currently wall we're talk looking at. You can select each of those so you can have individual parameters if you want. So let's get walls there. And now under the geometry here, we can select the name. So we have two different walls there that we can look at. Um, height, length, thickness, and all the rest. They're all just grayed out at the moment. Under studs and blocking, what we can do here is start adding some extra bits of information. So if I turn on this wall here, uh, just by selecting its name, I can see there that the default height has come through from the parameters available over this side here. Uh, length is there and all that other kind of stuff. So studs, uh, apply to all walls, yeah, makes a bit of sense, so that's not going to make any change here. Um, what we really want to pay a bit of attention to is things like blocking. So we can click on blocking here, so apply to all walls. Generate horizontal elements. Now currently the height is set at 2800, which is the top. So what we can do is drop this down maybe to 1400. 1400. And you can see there that it has dropped in our horizontal elements there on all walls. Okay, take that off. And it, well, it's already been applied now, so it doesn't matter. Um, you can ask it to rotate the profile if needs be, but I don't see why you'd want to do that. Uh, we can also set a height and a width on it. Uh, so these are currently 4x2s, uh, 1 or 2 by 51 Now, my wall is a 75, so really that should drop down to 75. And next we can have a look at the external framing and how it behaves at various um, various intersections. So we have a left stud here like that right stud, again, reverse of that, top plate, how that's being treated. And you can ask it to do things like, well, whether well, if you want them doubled or not. So let's just double the top plates. And uh, we can do the same on the bottom plates as well. Or put none at all on it, which would be interesting. Um, let's see, so that's those. Top plate, bottom plate. And if we look in here, We should start to see those changes taking place. So maybe we'll just flick that back. You can see there the way it's flicking. And that's that. Uh, let's see what else we got. T connections and how it goes about those. So currently there isn't any on this model, so this is grayed out. Uh, and under openings here, this is where we can start looking at our kings and headers and sills. So the, the kings are currently set there. So let's just select a wall here. Now, it's in relation to the current wall and the door associated with it. So you can see that that has been selected. Now the king stud here currently has ones, so we can double those, like so. And you can see the various configurations here, so I'm going to put that in. Uh, and then the header on that, you can single, double, triple, whatever way you want to go about it. So 
So let's pop that in as well. And I can do thing, the other, well, the same modification over here for the window. Currently it's all singles, so I'm going to double each of those. So I'll double the sill as well. And you get that little preview here showing what's going on. Um, okay, so let's just select this wall here. And we need to do the same work over here. So uh, let's get the door. So now we've selected the door. And let's make this one fairly bulletproof. So we go with that. And again, under the header here, we can do something like that if we like. And again, we have the same kind of dimensions uh, available to us here. And uh, use the find elements. So if you want uh, additional component parts, you can start putting them in. Um, I haven't messed about with those yet, so I'm not so sure what they do. Um, so there we can see that our frame built up. So having done all this, we click OK, and it's gone to work. That was quite quick. An awful lot faster than doing it by hand. And you can see there how it's put them all in. Now, because of the timber dimensions and all the rest, um, the walls that I have here uh, are overshooting on the timber. So what we can do is uh, maybe grab those walls and uh, where are the individual component parts. Actually, once it's uh, set up, you can go in and delete them if you want. So that's the top. There we go, that's the wall gone now. And you can see you're just left with the framing. So this is all very extremely useful. And you can see how it's built it up in all the various areas. And uh, I think we'll leave it there.